In this video, we're going to be looking at class methods and instance methods. So, because methods can work on the entire class, or, met or method can actually work on just one instance of the class, and just one object of the class. So, we now we're going to talk about the minus at the back of the method. So, remember, we have the minus at the back of uh, int get account number, then minus in, uh, int uh, uh, minus float get account balance. So this minus, it simply means, uh, it simply indicates that it is an instance method. So whenever you see this negative, this uh, minus sign, it means that this get account balance is an instance method. This means that it works, it means that this method works on an instance of a class, which is an object. So if you want to get the account balance of Johnson, remember how we talked about this before, if you want to get the account balance of Johnson and the account number of Mary, we write it this way. We say Johnson account get account balance. Mary account get account balance. As you can see, Mary account and Johnson account are two different objects. So that means this uh, method works only on an object. It doesn't work on a class. It works on an object. Because of data encapsulation, we cannot access directly the private data such as account balance. So we have to use the method to get this information. So because of data encapsulation we talked about before, we have to use methods to get the account balance and the account uh, name, account uh, um, balance, uh, etc. So the method here only works on objects. It doesn't work on a class. So if we use this method on the class, it won't make any sense. For example, if we say bank account, which is the name of our class, and we say get account balance, it doesn't make sense because if you think about it, which balance is going to be returned? Because when we say get account balance on Johnson account, that means we want the account balance on just Johnson's account. We don't want anybody else account balance just on Johnson. So the negative sign, the minus sign means this method will only work on an object and it doesn't work on a class. So you cannot use get account balance with the class name. It's, it's going to give you an error. As you can see, we cannot get a balance from the class itself. We have to use this method with individual object, and this is why it is called an instance method, which means the method is used with an instance of a class. It is used with an object. So the other option is to have a plus sign in front of the method. I mean, when I say in front, I mean at the back. Like, instead of the minus, we have a plus. Uh, of a method declaration and this will mean that the method is a class method and not an object method so when you have a plus sign here it means that the method that you're writing works on the entire class and there some time you may want to do that let's look at an example and this means that the method is a class method and not an object method think of a possible method that can be used with an entire class one example is for example the bank has made so much money and they want to credit every account with a bonus of £100. Let's say the bank wants to give every um, account order £100. So instead of applying the money directly to... Don't let me use that right there. So instead of applying the money to each individual object, do you know that's going to take a long time? If you say uh, Johnson account... Uh, a credit account hundred pound then you call Mary account credit account hundred pound then you call um Tizen account credit uh, Tizen account credit account hundred pound so instead of applying the money to each individual uh object the bank can simply apply the money to all the accounts at once we can declare the class method as so don't uh Take the, take this with a pinch of salt. It might not be the way you actually write it in the program, but uh, just to give you an idea how it will look. So we we write the bank the class name, then we credit all accounts with hundred pound. So that means when we're declaring our uh, uh, credit all accounts method inside the uh, inside the interface file, we will say plus void credit account blah 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 you get the idea so this is because the plus sign means it's going to refer to the bank account itself so let's look another example is if you want to find out how many accounts has been opened in total 
this can be done through the use of class method like this so if you want to find out how many accounts have i opened in total like how many accounts does the bank have so you can say bank account which is the class name then you send in total number of account which is a method that works on the back on, on the back class itself on the class itself and it's going to give you it's going to return you know so just like a good naming convention we say get total number of accounts so bank account get the number of account this will return to you the number of account that can be open so this one is a, uh, a class method because it's applied directly to a class and we use a method to denote that and we use the plus sign to denote that when we're doing our method declaration and if you actually pay attention you realize that we have actually used a class method when we allocate memory space for our object when we say bank account alloc because this alloc is actually a method that works on a class itself and not on an object so I hope I have made them that clear to you the reason why we have minus here and also when you say plus sign you know exactly what that means one the minus sign means is an instance method and the plus sign means a class method see you in the next video thank you